hello students welcome back to my channel in this video i am going to discuss in detail about the schrodinger wave equation schrodinger developed quantum mechanics based on two fundamental principles and they are de broglie's principle and heisenberg's principle so schrodinger developed quantum mechanics totally based on de broglie's principle and heisenberg's principle coming to the importance of schrodinger wave equation it explains the wave motion of an electron so let us derive an expression for schrodinger wave equation the fundamental equation describing the wave motion of small particles is so the fundamental equation describing the wave motion of small particles is do square xi by do x square is equal to minus 4 pi square xi by lambda square do represents very small quantity especially xi represents the amplitude of the wave so xi represents the amplitude of the wave lambda represents wavelength of the wave x represents the displacement so do square xi by do x square is equal to minus 4 pi square xi by lambda square describes the wave motion of very small particles like electrons so by rewriting this expression we will get minus 4 pi square xi by lambda square is equal to do square xi by do x square that implies here we need to write the expression in terms of lambda square that implies we have to migrate this term to right hand side then it becomes 1 by lambda square is equal to minus 1 by 4 pi square xi into do square xi by do x square let us suppose it as equation number 1 so equation number 1 is 1 by lambda square is equal to Minus one by four pi square xi into do square xi by do x square. According to De Broglie, so according to De Broglie principle, we have lambda equal to h by mc where c is velocity of particle m is 
mass of particle h is planck's constant so on substituting the value of lambda in equation 1 we get so on substituting the value of lambda in equation 1 it can be written as m square c square by h square is equal to minus 1 by 4 pi square z into do square z by do x square so let us rewrite this equation in terms of m square c square that implies m say m square c square is equal to minus h square by 4 pi square z into do square z by do x square so m square c square is equal to minus h square by 4 pi square z into do square z by do x square let us suppose it as equation number 2 here we know the expression for kinetic energy so the kinetic energy of a particle is given as k is equal to half mc square where m is the mass of the particle and c is the velocity of the particle so let us write this expression in terms of m and c square that implies m c square is equal to 2k and that implies m square c square is equal to 2k m so here we got the value for m square c square so on substituting the value of m square c square in equation 2 we get 2 km is equal to minus h square by 4 pi square z into do square z by do x square so 2 km is equal to minus h square by 4 pi square z into do square z by do x square here we need an expression for kinetic energy so that implies k is equal to minus h square by 8 pi square m into z do square z by do x square this is equation number 3 we know the expression for total energy so we know that total energy e is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy that implies kinetic energy can be written as total energy minus potential energy so on substituting the value of k in equation 3 we get e minus v equal to minus h square by 8 pi square m z into do square z by do x square 
it can also be written as minus h square by 8 pi square m into z do square z by do x square is equal to e minus v so we have to migrate the whole term into right hand side then we will get do square z by do x square is equal to minus 8 pi square m into e minus v into z by h square that implies it can be written as do square z by do x square you just migrate this term onto left hand side then you will get do square z by do x square plus 8 pi square m into e minus v into z by h square is equal to 0. This is equation number 4 and it represents the wave nature of the electron along x axis. So, let us write Schrodinger wave equation along three dimensions that is do square z by do x square plus do square z by do y square plus do square z by do z square plus 8 pi square m into e minus v into z by h square is equal to 0. It is equation number 5 which explains the wave nature of the electron along x, y and z axis. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.